Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can sell a digital product on TikTok shop. As you know, TikTok shop is one of the most visited as well as one of the most successful marketplace that allows you to sell different product from different supplier and it already helped a lot of people with their financial difficulties. And if you would like to start selling on TikTok shop but you only have probably digital product as your experience i'm going to show you how you can add your digital product into your tiktok shop now first thing first you're going to want to create a professional or a business account on tiktok you will not be able to use or to create a shop on tiktok if you're only using your personal account you can however change you can, however, change your personal account into a business account, just like how you do it on Instagram. You can also convert your personal TikTok account into your business. But I personally doesn't like to combine them both. So I ended up creating another account solely for my TikTok shop. And once you finish creating your shop and you're already setting up all of your TikTok shop, you'll be able to see a dashboard that looks like this seller center dashboard that I show on the screen right now. Next, what you're going to do after you're done creating your shop is you're going to want to go to the product option on the navigation bar that appears on the left side of your screen and you're going to be able to see on selections of stuff that you can do with your product on your TikTok shop. So usually people will put a product from other shops and then putting it into your shop. So it's sort of like a reseller kind of things. But if you would like to also sell your own stuff, all you have to do is go to this product right here and then you are going to click on add new product. And we're going to go through all of this one by one. First, we're going to obviously put a title into our product and it's going to give us all of the insights of how we can name our product. First, it says that the recommended length of our product is 25 characters or more. And the categories of your product is going to be defined based on the name of your product. For example, if I put, let's say, sport shoe or sport shoes, let's add some more descriptions to it. Maybe it's going to be blue, sport shoes for women. It's going to automatically add the categories to my product obviously i can also set the categories by myself if, in case the category that tiktok put into our product is not accurate but overall you got the idea so let's say that our digital product is going to be a digital self healing journal all right so once i put the title as you can see it's going to give me a recommendation of categories that tiktok already read through the name of my products so it says here it categorizes it as computers and office equipment obviously that is not the one and uh, it has toys and hobbies as diy scrapbooking and stamping or computer and office equipment and then office stationaries and supplies and schools and educational supplies so the reason why they put it into computer and office equipment is because they don't really have a categories for digital product they only have things for physical products so you will have to choose as closely as possible so the first one is actually not that wrong because it says notebook and papers at the very end but i'm just going to choose the second one as my categories instead and then over here you're going to want to add in the brand of your product so you can choose on the available brand but if this is the one that you created yourself and you don't actually have a brand over here you can see that at the bottom we actually can choose no brand as our brand so i'm going to go ahead and click on select 
and it says no brand right here and then next you're going to want to add the product attributes and it says right here that providing product attributes can give customers a more comprehensive understanding of the product and we also have to capitalize the first letters of each word in custom attribute value names except conjunction articles prepositions etc so let's say that this one is going to be let's say it's scrapbooking set let's say it's that one then the style is just going to be a traditional and the sni numbers can be entered as a custom value i'm just going to skip that for now and then over here you're going to want to upload your product image and it says here that you can add at least five image to adequately represent your product and you can also take a look at the example if you want and it's going to show you on the pictures that looks good for your listing after you add your pictures you can also add some videos if you want but since it's a digital product i don't think it's really necessary and this is actually the part that is going to be very very important because if you're selling a digital product you're going to want to explain on the description box as clearly as possible that they're not going to receive any items and they're going to get a link instead on where they're going to be able to download the product that you're selling we're using a digital journal as our example so obviously once they checked out their product from our shop they're going to get a link to download the digital journal templates that we've already created or if you're selling an ebook they're going to get a link through their email or whatever platform you will want to send that link to they're going to get the link of the ebook that they just bought on your tiktok shop so through here what i recommend you to do is put out is put in some detail such as all right so here are just some example of the things that you will want to state on your description box some of them is this is a digital product and then you will not receive any product and you will get a download link once you've made your payment so make sure that you state as clearly as possible so that anyone who tries to buy the digital product through your tiktok shop is not going to feel like they're being deceived or this is a scam and then next obviously you're going to want to add on the retail price as well as the quantity that you have so for example i'm going to give this a price of 65 thousand rupiah and let's say that i have 10. it's actually supposed to be unlimited because it's a digital product but let's say that i'm just going to sell 10 for now and then the sku is obviously up to you so let's say it's just going to be 001 for me and you can't actually skip the weight so even though you're not going to send anything you're going to have to enter the weight so let's say that it's going to be just one kilogram and as for the dimensions you don't really have to fill it in so i'm just going to skip it for now and the delivery option is actually going to depends on which countries you're setting your tiktok shops in i have the options to choose default or custom I'm going to go with the default instead and since this is a digital product I'm not going to turn on the cash on delivery options because again there is no delivery there are no goods delivery for this product so cash on delivery is not going to be possible for this one so I'm just going to skip it for now and then once you're done with everything you can go ahead and submit it for review or you can also save it as draft and once you got your listing created because i save it as a draft if you would like to take a look at it again all you have to do is go to your home page and then take a look at the product sections once again go to your manage product and then through here you'll be able to see on all of the product that you're selling and if it's still on the draft just like what i created earlier you can just click on draft and here it is you'll be able to see on the product that you've created and that's 
basically it if you would like to create some more you can just click on add new product it's as easy as that i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day